A woman picks up a library book and discovers a horrifying family history she had never known about. Jennifer Tega was adopted at age seven. It wasn't until she was 38 that she found out that her grandfather was the brutal Nazi commander Amon Goeth, who ordered thousands of people murdered during the Holocaust. He was depicted in the Academy Award-winning movie Schindler's List. Jennifer Tega has written a book about her family called My Grandfather Would Have Shot Me. A black woman discovers her family's Nazi past. And she joins us now. Jennifer, thank you for being here. Um, let me just start off by asking you about how exactly it was that you encountered your family history. What happened? It was an ordinary day a few years ago. I was in the central library in my hometown, and I was in a department, in a psychology department, not in the history department, what I might, might assume. And I saw a book with a red cover that grabbed my attention. I took this book out of the shelf, and I started leafing through its pages. And there were pictures uh, of people that I, I thought I know. And in the end, there was a summarization of biographical details. And these details matched perfectly the information that I had from my adoption papers. So at this very moment, I understood that this was not a random book, but that this book told the story of my biological family. Yeah. And when you discovered the truth about your biological family, that your grandfather was this horrific Let's just be upfront about it. Horrific Nazi commander who uh, was responsible for the death of millions of people. How did that affect you personally? Uh, to make this clear from the very beginning, I reject my grandfather. So this was something that was very difficult for me to sustain. I think it affected me very much in a personal way because I found out so late. You know that uh, what I just said, I was adopted, so I had no knowledge about this fact. And that it came so out of the blue was probably one of the reasons why I was really in shock. And it took me a long time to come to terms with uh, the newfound uh, situation. I want to ask about your grandmother, Ruth Irene, because in an interview she claimed that she didn't know the extent of the horror at the camp. Why do you think she tried to deny everything? I can't speak for my grandmother. She was in denial until the very end. She committed suicide and she left a note and she didn't say anything uh, about the victims. She just uh, was uh, someone who closed her eyes for uh, yeah, most of uh, her life. Now that you've had a chance to reflect, uh, what do you think of your grandmother now? My grandmother is a very complicated person because I knew her. When I was a child, I was uh, given up for adoption, but I was in contact with my biological family, with my mother and with my grandmother. So I had this picture of her, this personal picture of my grandmother, and I loved her as a child. So when I found out that she was also the woman who lived uh, outside the concentration camp with Amon Gerd, it was very difficult to combine these two feelings. And uh, today I can distinguish between her as my personal grandmother, who I dearly loved, and uh, the woman at the side of Amon Gert. Mm. You know, you, what, you dealt with depression following the discovery mm. of your family history. Uh, we know that many survivors of the Holocaust also deal with depression. Is it any different for those uh, survivors or those descendants of their murderers? It's very different. It's very different. A lot of historians were um, trying to figure out what or are there any similarities. I think the main difference is for the perpetrators is this, I mean, there must be a shame. There's so much guilt involved. And for the victims, it's grief, sorrow. And it's uh, uh, different aspects. But the silence that people did not talk about it after the war, this is something that maybe is similar. Mm. The movie Schindler's List depicts your grandfather, and you actually saw the movie long before you discovered your family's history. What do you think about the depiction in that movie? Um, I've seen the movie, and I saw the movie in Israel because I studied in Israel. This is maybe also a personal connection that led to me being so um, yeah, stressed by the matter of fact when I found out. I think the movie is a, yeah, it is a very powerful Hollywood movie. And uh, I heard um, also by survivors who have seen the movie that it very um, authentically gives you a picture of uh, how my biological grandfather was. But still, it is a Hollywood movie. And I think it's, uh, it's so far important to emphasize because my grandfather is, uh, he became a symbol of evil and he did so many evil um, things but he was responsible for it. It was not an external power that's what laid upon him.
He was unrepentant to the end. He was un unrepentant to the Absolutely. very end when he was executed for war Absolutely. crimes. You said that you lived in Israel. You were afraid, perhaps, that your friends would know that mm -hmm. you were related to uh, Goeth. What did they say ultimately when they found out? They were very empathic. It took me a long time until I could open up to them, not because I was afraid that they would uh, reject me, because the, lo the, the friendship that we have, they lasted, some of them, for more than 20 years. But I didn't know what this would trigger in their families. Mm. So it was actually that I couldn't open up because I was uh, afraid that they would not be able to cope with this. And when I eventually uh, talked to them, they were very understanding and uh, they, they cried with me. Mm. Wow. Because ultimately, you're all victims. You, no, you no, are a victim no, because of your no, grandfather's no, history. You don't feel that no, way. No, I don't feel like this. I feel that uh, you're not a prisoner of the past. Mm. It was really difficult, but one has to distinguish. And I believe that um, I am, yeah, I, I'm part of the perpetrator side, which doesn't mean that I'm guilty. I carry a responsibility. But one shouldn't uh, mix these two things up. Fascinating story. The book is My Grandfather Would Have Shot Me, A Black Woman Discovers Her Family's Nazi Past. Fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us.